Hi guys, now today I didn't really have time to do an entire sit down video, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna be showing you guys how far I am with packing because we are going to be moving very soon and it's been a long time. Like it's literally taken me all day to do this stuff because you guys probably know I have a lot of tchotchkes and collectibles and Pokemon cards and pops and wacky wobblers and just a lot of stuff around the room that takes a long time to pack. So we're gonna be going through that and then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna be opening up a brand new package from Hot Topic. So let's get started. All right guys, so I guess we'll just get started with the shelf here. So this is what my shelf is looking like at the moment. I still need to put all of the stuff away on the top here and then my fig pins as well as my Pez. Now the Pez isn't gonna be too bad. I just kinda need a small box and I'll be able to pop them all in there. But there is a lot of them and I do wanna make sure that they are safe. And then here is all of the boxes that I have packed so far. It is a lot of stuff. And I mean, it's coming along. It's just kind of crazy how many things that I've got. So there's some more Pez in here as well as some boxes. This is actually something I haven't shown off very often. I know it's a Christmas thing, but it is still a really cool collector set. I got it for like 14 bucks. And then over here in the second box, I've got a lot of my U2s. Here we've got all of my Dorbs as well as my Dorbs rides. And I just love the Dorbs rides. Actually, I kind of want to show this one off. I don't know if I've ever shown this one off or maybe I did, but it was a long time ago, but I love the detail on these Dorbs rides. Look at how crazy that looks. I wish pop rides were this detailed. Now something that I did want to show you guys and I've definitely shown off in a video before actually I think we went hunting for these in a video but this right here is a Nintendo Pez still on its card and I just love this thing. This one is the Diddy Kong but there was also a couple different characters in this that you guys can see on the back there. There was a Mario, a Yoshi, a Diddy Kong, and a Koopa and I'm probably thinking there was a Wave 2 at some point. I'm not too sure when but it seems to be like an odd roster of characters here. Like why wouldn't they have made like a Donkey Kong or a Luigi? I'm not too sure but this right here was a really great find when I did get it. And then guys, I know it is really messy in here, but we have two more boxes. This one I believe is just a bunch of mystery minis and then also, oh my crazy bones here. I've got the golden collector set of crazy bones. This is really cool. I am actually a huge fan of those. I used to have, I think hundreds of those crazy bones because of how small they were, they were really easy to collect. And then in this box here, this was really crazy. I did want to show you guys this. This has exactly two rows of U2s and each level fits 15 perfectly. I was just so amazed when I put them all in here and it was like exact exact so yeah I just want to show you this because it was pretty satisfying so you guys can see just from looking around at that small amount of what I've done so far there really is a lot of like tiny things that I need to clean up and especially with like here's one thing guys a Waldo figure like this is one thing that I want to make sure does not break and that kind of happens with every single thing that I've got here like I don't want my Kermit to break I don't want my prototype to break I don't want really anything to break so a lot of people it's just like oh I've got a bed and I've got clothing but for me it's like I've got 50,000 tiny things that I want to keep in pretty decent in condition. I mean, if some of it kind of, you know, dents or breaks, it's fine. But for the most part, I would like to keep it pretty safe. And also, if there are any collectors out there that have moved like a huge collection like this, please let me know in the comment section below because I would love to hear what you guys did because I still have a couple days, so I feel like you guys might be able to help me out a little bit. All right guys, so I've stopped my packing for now because I really just wanted to show you guys what I had packed so far and what was in my room that you guys couldn't normally see at the office. And I know that this isn't an ideal setting to actually open up this package, but I was so excited about it and I thought you guys would really enjoy what's inside of here, so let's just crack into it. And like I had said, this is a package from Hot Topic and I believe there are maybe four or five different pops in here, so it is a pretty big box. And actually, now that I think about it, I think I ordered this one in the video where I did an online pop hunt a little while ago. Was it looking for something specific? I don't remember what it was, but I know I got it from Hot Topic, and you guys will probably know which video it's from as soon as I open it up. I just don't remember what the title was. Oh, and also, in case you guys are wondering why I'm talking a little bit quieter right now, everybody in the house is sleeping, and I don't want to wake anyone up. All right, guys, well, first impressions here. I will say the packaging on this is a lot better than usual. It's too bad that they didn't put the Ned Flanders inside of a sorter, but his box looks decent from what I can see so far. And I guess we'll start with the Ned Flanders since you guys already saw part of the box there. And from what I can see, you know what? It's not too bad. The only thing that I can see on this is like a little bit of a bend on the side. I don't even know if you guys can see it. No, it's not bad at all. So this is a really well done pop and this is the first ever normal Ned Flanders figure. I mean, there was the Devil Flanders a little while ago. It is not as good as this one right here and I definitely wanted to pick 
pick up this one because it is the original Ned Flanders look. And also, if you guys wanna know what line this Ned Flanders falls into, it is the brand new wave, and I do have most of these on the way, so stay tuned for a big Simpsons video coming soon. And if you guys wanna see them a little bit closer up, there is the back of the box with some really great characters, and I did just get the Lard Lad Donut right there. That is the first ever six inch in the Simpsons line in a really nice pop. Now, I actually wanna pop the Ned Flanders out of the box real quick, just because I wanna see what his glasses are like. Okay, this is weird, so can I even push them up a little bit? No, I can't, but if you guys look on the front, this is what Ned looks like, like normally in the show. Maybe his eyes are a little bit bigger, but that's because he's a pop. But if you look to the side, you can actually see the normal pop eyes under the glasses. So if anybody has one of these, maybe the glasses broke off. Don't break your Ned Flanders, but I would love to see what he looks like without the glasses because I'm sure it's kind of weird. All right guys, now next up, let's just get into one of the sorters here. Oh, okay, this is a good one. So let me just open it up for you guys like this. You guys might be able to see it up here, but uh, here we go guys, you ready? Three two, one. This is another Funko Foodies, and this is the, what flavor is this? The Tropical Punch Kool-Aid Packet. Now this one here is great. I believe in actually yesterday's video, we opened up the non-exclusive version of the Kool-Aid Packet, which was the cherry flavor. And now we're opening up this one right here. So it's pretty much the exact same as the other one, just the colors are reversed. So instead of the packet being red with the blue hands and legs, it's just opposite. I mean, that's what reversed is. But in case you guys are wondering where the colors were reversed, that's where it was. And I am trying to get every single Foodies Funko Pop, so this one is definitely one that I wanted to pick up. And a lot of you guys were saying that the Foodies are in the Funko category, when I don't think that's true. I mean, wouldn't it say Pop Funko under the name? I mean, I don't know where these are falling into. I wish they just said Pop Foodies and started from number one, but for some reason they decided to be weird with the numbers on these Pops right here. And I will get an answer eventually. It's just for now, the mystery will continue. Also, I don't know if it was like this on the other one. It probably was, but the mouth is is indented. I thought it was just like a little decal put on top, but I don't know if you guys can see that. The mouth is in fact indented. Did you guys see that? It's so weird. I thought it was just a decal. I don't know why I did. Maybe I just never felt it on the other one, but I just noticed that it is kind of a little bit, uh, well, the word is indented. I said it three times there, but I'm going to say it again. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, next up here, we are getting into, oh, okay. So we're getting into some of the Candyland Funko Pops. This is definitely one of the waves that I'm going to be getting all of them for. And something kind of weird about this, um, I don't know if I showed it in the video, but when I was ordering these ones, for some reason, they took three of them out of my cart. And I don't know why they did that. For some reason, when I had made my order, they took the money off it. So it's not like I paid for all of them, but they only put two of them in my cart. It was kind of confusing, but I just left it because I didn't want to have to worry about it. So here it is right here, guys. This is the Candyland one. And here we go. Three, two, one. This one here is the Candyland. I believe it's Mr. Mint. It is Mr. Mint. And now when I was younger, I actually used to have the Candyland computer game. And then we also have a bunch of different versions of Candyland in the basement in actual physical form. But I was so excited when they announced these characters because I really do want to get every single one of them. So in this wave here, I can show the back. Actually, well, let me show off the Mr. Mint a little bit closer up first. You guys can see here, they just killed it with this line. And I am a huge fan of all of these ones, especially the way the box is, because it really does look like the Candyland board game. And then on the back, there's the player piece, Mr. Mint, Jolly, Queen, Frostine and King Candy and I will definitely be getting all of these and I also did get the what is his name is it Licorice Prince whatever the Target Con exclusive one was I also got that one so that one should be in relatively soon I think it was a pre-order so it could be a little while but I did order it and now guys I also want to pop this one out of the box just to take a little bit of a closer look at him and look at that right there now I definitely remember him from the online video game it was one that you actually had to put a CD I don't know was it a DVD or a CD I'm not too sure what you would put but the video games on. I'm pretty sure it was a CD, but anyways, I used to play that all the time. And I also remember one time I was playing on the computer. My dad was across the room and I was maybe seven. I don't know. I don't know how old I was, but I had finished it. And whenever you finished it, you could print out a certificate saying that you did complete Candyland. And I was like, can I print one? And my dad was like, not in color. And then I hit print and it came out in complete color and it covered the entire page. So yeah, he was a little angry that day. I'm pretty sure I used an entire ink cartridge, but it was definitely worth it. I just don't know where it is anymore. <laughs> All right, guys, now let's get into pop number four, which is another Candyland one. Now, this one is probably the heaviest one out of all of them. I mean, I'm not too sure. I haven't felt some of them, but these are the only two that I have so far. So let's pop this one open. Here we go, guys. You ready? Three, two, one. And it is Jolly. Yes, Jolly. 
And guys, now here is the Jolly right here. Now, I don't remember Jolly too much in the actual game. Like, I'm feeling like on the computer game, he's probably like about halfway through the board or maybe something like that. I'm not too sure. But there is the Jolly right there. And I really want to pop this out of the box to see what he looks like all the way around. Because you could really only see in the glam shots the front of him, but you never got to see the back. <laughs> this one's such a weird one. I don't even know what he's supposed to be. Probably just some like made up character for Candyland. But there is Jolly right there. What a weird Funko Pop, but I do love this thing. And I'm also trying to figure out what's in his hand. Perhaps a gumdrop or a cupcake? I'm not too sure, but whatever it is, Funko really did a great job on this one. And actually, this entire Candyland wave, and I hope they do make more of them in the future. I just don't know how many more characters they can make in the future. I'm sure there's something. And now that Funko's turning all of these different board game characters into pops, I would love to see Funko-fied versions of the board games like Candyland and maybe Monopoly. That could be cool. And I don't remember if I showed off the back of the box for the first one, so if you just want to see them a little bit closer up, there they are right there. And all of these, like I said, really do look great. And the player piece is really cool as well because it's kind of like the gingerbread Mickey and Minnie where it's a little bit thinner, so it makes it look a little bit more accurate to the actual character. All right, guys, so now we have one more character to take a look at here, and this is another ad icon. So let's pop this one out of the box here. Here we go, guys. You ready? Three, two, one. This is the Diamond Edition Coca-Cola Bear. And now this one just looks amazing. So the only thing they didn't put glitter on is the mouth, nose, eyes, and Coca-Cola bottle. So that's actually not too much of the character. And also I'm noticing here that they even made the Coca-Cola logo in like a white glitter, very similar to the entire Polar Bear's fur and that is a really nice touch on Funko's part. I mean, I don't know how they would have done it otherwise. Maybe they just wouldn't have put glitter there, but this really does look nice. And you guys know that I am trying to collect every single ad icon, so even though that this is the exact same number as the other Coca-Cola bear, this is definitely one that I wanted to get for my set. So let's take a look at this one out of the box a little bit before we get out of here, because this thing is just too crazy. Look at that. Now, it's kind of hard to see the glitter with this light, especially on the white, but in person, this this really does look amazing. And also I do want to zoom in on the Coca-Cola bottle as well as the scarf there. And like I said, the bottle isn't glittered, but it still looks great. Now guys, that is all of the pops that I have to show off today. And again, sorry that I couldn't do this in a better setting, but for today, I really couldn't do much because I was packing pretty much all day. But before we get out of here, we normally spin the wheel, but because I don't have the wheel with me today and not many pops to actually choose from, I'm just gonna pick one that I left out because I think it is a pretty cool one to show off. And so the figure that I chose was actually gifted to me by my friend Ian. Now, if you guys have been a viewer of the channel for a while, you'd probably know where I'm going with this. But this one right here is a four pack from the Pop Movies line, and this is the Marsh Mellowed Ghostbusters 30th Anniversary 4-Pack. And this is actually a San Diego Comic-Con 2014 exclusive. And this, they actually sold a long time ago back at HMV. That's where it was shared with here in Canada. And I, for some reason, didn't pick this one up. I saw it there and I kind of passed by it, but Ian was lucky enough to pick one of them up before they did sell out. And then a bunch of years later, he was like, Tristan, do you want this? And I was like, of course, Ian, thank you so much. And Ian, if you are watching, again, thank you so much for this figure because this really does make a great addition to my Funko Pop collection. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a full with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Cool. B54 thump. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with And she calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lashes.